Easily turn your sander into a bench mounted disc sander or an exact 90. And I did say bench, B-E-N-C-H. Check out these squares that rival woodpecker's quality and accuracy at a fraction of the price. But first, let me show you what might be your last set of setup blocks you ever have to buy. This is a set of eye gauging setup blocks that has a ton of setup blocks in there so you can pretty much dial in anything you want. So this set goes from 1 16th of an inch all the way to 1 half inch in these small blocks and then of course you get the 1, 2, 3 block. If you look at the quarter inch block, it has the quarter inch printed there, which I really like because that allows you to know that that's one quarter inch thick. Some of the wider ones will have the arrows pointing to let you know that this is the distance you're measuring, 7 sixteenths. This is one quarter, but they also have them printed on the face. And you can rest assured that these are extremely accurate as shown here with my digital caliber. All of these that I check, dead on. Starting at the router table, this is gonna let you set your bit heights and your fence distance. Also at the table saw, you're gonna be able to set your saw blade depth exactly where you want it, or the fence distance, especially using the one, two, three setup block. A one, two, three setup block is almost a must have in the shop because they are so useful. You can use them as a standard square. You can also set up blade heights and fence distances with these. And what I really like about the eye gauging one is there is a very accurate scale on two sides, the three inch side and the two inch side. That is a perfect way to set the depths and the bit heights of anything that you're gonna be using in the shop. I love this feature on this eye gauging one, two, three block versus a standard like 23 hole one, two, three block. These things are absolutely perfectly square so you don't have to worry about that. And you can use those again as a square to set up your fences or anything else. Now this set is in Freedom Unit, so if you're looking for a metric set, this is not those. But these do go from 1 16th inch all the way to half inch, and you can combine those in any orientation you want to get the depth you need. They also come in this very nice plastic case with foam insert to keep them organized, so you can keep them in a drawer and don't lose them. They are made of anodized aluminum, so they're gonna hold up very well in your shop. And Mike Taylor at Tay Tools knows I love my setup blocks, so he offered to send me these to check out. You gotta check them out at Tay Tools, small family owned business, you'll be supporting him. I'll put a link in the description and the pinned comments to this set and any other tools you see today. This attachment turns your sander into either an exact 90 degree sander or a bench top style disc sander. This was sent to me by a small maker just like you, McFarland Customs, he has an Etsy store where he sells these at and he has them for multiple models, DeWalt, Rigid, Makita, 3M, and I think that's all for now. I'll link to the store in the description, you can go check them out. But this will allow you to take your sander and make it an exact 90. So if you're building tabletops or cutting boards and you need that exact 90 degree, you don't want it to be off. Especially trying to manually hold that at a 90 degree angle, sometimes it gets a little frustrating. You don't get that perfect 90 that you're wanting. This will stop any user error that you may have because it is an exact 90 degree angle to your sanding disc. As you can see, there's plenty of clearance around the sander without being too much. Now he also sells this little attachment that allows you to easily convert this to a disc sander that you can just clamp it to your bench or there are screw holes there that you can screw it down. Now the way this works is there's two basically studs sticking up out of the back that matches the bolts that come with your Exact 90 that locks that in place in the backside. And then there's a security bar on the front that basically locks into those slots as you see there. So it locks in nice and solid, had zero issues with it. This is a great way to be able to sand small parts without having a big oscillating or belt sander or something like that in your shop. And it just uses a tool you already have. Now these exact 90s do come with everything you see. You get the U-bolt that goes around the sander. You also get the 90 degree part as well as two bolts and even a supplied wrench to help you kind of snug them up. You don't want to over tighten this, just snug it about a quarter turn past snug. Again, if you buy one of these, you're supporting a small maker just like yourself. So I give this a thumbs up. One thing I like about this setup is it's easily installed and removed. So if you don't want it on there or you're not going to use it, but just for a few minutes, put it on there, use it and take it back off. You still got your sand. <laughs> You may know that I am a Woodpeckers fan. I have Woodpeckers tools in the shop that I bought and never been sponsored by them. These may be the closest rivals I've ever seen at a fraction of the price. Now Mike Taylor Tay Tools knows that I like the Woodpeckers brand, but he said, you gotta check these out. Let me send you a set. Let me hear what you think. I'm impressed y'all because these are aluminum based, but they are a stainless steel blade. So you don't have to worry about corrosion and they have a ton of features packed in. Now this set comes with a seven inch and a four inch 
but you can buy them separately if you wish. Each one of these squares have holes in them at eighth inch increments so that you can draw parallel lines to the edge of your stock, which is great for layout. I also like how easily these are to read. They're a satin finish. Even though it's stainless steel, it's not too shiny, so it doesn't glare on you. And you just got those graduated marks all the way up the long side of that triangle all the way from zero to 90. That helps you lay out angles. I love the fact that they've thought of two ways to get measurements off of this as far as on a square goes. If you look, the scale starts at the top side of the base going up the scale. So when you lay that on the edge of the stock, you're measuring from the edge of the stock up. However, if you turn the square on its edge, the scale starts at zero here. So you can use this edge to set up blade heights, bit heights, fence distances, anything like that. Notice that the blades are also offset from center and what that's gonna allow you to do is mark for center of a three quarter inch stock or lay out mortise and tenon on three quarter inch stock. As far as the scale accuracy on these squares, you're getting extremely accurate measurements. At 0 .0015 of an inch, that's, you're not gonna notice any deviation there woodworking. And the squareness of each square is plus or minus 0 .005 thousandths of an inch. I mean, you don't need any more accuracy than that. Building most any common woodworking project, the wood's gonna move more than that. Each square even has a hole in it just made for hanging it up. So you can keep them up off the workbench and safe. They even include instructions and a mechanical pencil with extra lead. <laughs> Again, probably the closest competitor to Woodpecker's quality and accuracy that I've seen at a fraction of the cost. You gotta check them out, taytools.com, link in the description. Next up is the dopest router base you've ever seen. It comes from Woodgrain Junkie. I purchased something from him on Etsy that I'm working on for a future build video, and he included this router base for the DeWalt. He saw it used on the channel. He said, I hope you enjoy the trim router plate. I included the sub base with a grip as an added thank you. Thank you, Woodgrain Junkie. If you compare it to the other base, the base that comes with the router, you see how much more support you're getting on that router by using one of these aftermarkets. He has no idea I'm making this video and didn't ask me to. I just thought it was a really nice base, really thick, 3 8 inch, and it's well made. It has a really nice handle. This is a very well made router base, especially to give you some extra control when you're doing roundovers and chamfers, even on small items like this guitar tray. It gives me a little extra control, a little extra base, enough to keep this router upright in a perfect 90 degree to what the stock I'm working on. I really like this base and it's why I included it in this video. If you want to support a small maker, if you want to check out some of the dopest accessories you can find for a router and more, check out his Etsy store. I'll link to it in the description. This is a really good product. He has no idea I'm making this video. I just think it's great to be able to bring light to small makers making really good products, especially when they have no idea you're doing it. Y'all give him some love, link in the description. Next up, a next level woodworking tool that will really speed up your processes. And you may have seen it hanging back here. This is the TSO GRS 16 PRV2. Got real square. <laughs> you may have seen this in my previous video, the five track saw accessories you need, but this is the newest version. TSO did send me this to check out, but I've always been impressed with their quality, and this one is no different. This new version, this exact square here, will fit Festool tracks, Milwaukee, Triton, Makita, as well as Powertech tracks. So if you have any of those tracks, this will work for you. Now, if you have the Craig tracks, there is a Craig version of this as well, or a Craig track square that they have. Now to put this on is super, super, super simple. All you do is slide it into the track. This clip will lock over your track and lock it in place. This pulls everything square, perfectly square. So you got a giant speed square now and it won't damage your track. And there are notches so your track clamps still work with this install. Now, the reason I like this version is you can use it on either end of the track, so it doesn't matter which side you put it on, just depends on what your preference is. This makes breaking down sheet goods extremely fast because you only have to line up one side because this is a square. All you have to do is slide it down your material, make the cut, slide it down the material, make the cut. This thing is very nice to have, will save you a ton of time. These are extremely high quality tools that will last you forever, so long as you take care of them, don't drop them, don't run over. These carry a five-year warranty and are made right here in the USA. If you like this video, you gotta check out the five tools you've never seen before. Click that box, click the box, get you the big old virtual fist pump, or another one of my favorite videos right here.